much can you take away from the red and blue game? Uh, a lot. I mean, you know, it's uh, kind of like the first time we get these younger guys to go out there and, you know, really get those, you know, first game bugs out, you know, those jitters. Get their first time experience, you know, really playing out on the floor with a bunch of fans. Jesse, assess the first five, six days of practice, what you've seen, how you feel about what you've seen, how the rest of the guys have played. Um, the first five days of practice have been really good. You know, um, a lot of togetherness. You know, um, from where we got from last year, like this year, we're way closer. You know, um, a lot more talent. Like um, from one to thirteen, I have many guys we got. Um, everybody can play. You know, um, no selfish guys on the team. And just everybody pretty much all in. Anybody jumped out at you guys with the, now that you've had full two and a half, three hours a day, where you said, "Dang, you can do that" or anything like that? I mean, all the freshmen. Like all four of the freshmen pretty much come in with great attitudes, you know, on working hard, you know, um, and that's basically the main thing, you know, coming in with good attitudes and um, being able to compete every day. Jesse, what stood out to you about Angelo Chol and Sneaky Johnson so far for these first couple of days? Oh, man, um, athletic, you know, um, runs the floor, you know, um, plays real hard, you know. Um, our plays are um, very hard to learn right now. I mean, you know, jumping ball screens and stuff like that, I had these problems when I came in. But the thing about those two guys, they, um, they're real gifted. You know, um, Angelo Cho, great shot blocker. You know, um, Siddiqui runs the floor real well. You know, rebounds, both ends of the floor. So both of them are doing great right now. What are those guys like defensively? Um, defensively, where they're at right now, it's hard to tell. You know, um, with the jumping ball screens and things like that, it's still confusing for them. So, um, I mean, they're working hard at it. So hopefully they'll get it soon. What do you think about how that might work as far as the post rotation with yourself in there? Will you, do you anticipate having some different looks to, with those two guys working in there? Yeah, um, I'll be playing, you know, three and four. You know, um, sometimes maybe even playing a five, depending on what situation mm -hmm. we're in. You know, um, I think this year we want to be more of like a running, running gun team. You know, try to get up and down the floor. You know, um, those are the things we've really been working on in practice. Kyle, what's it been like with uh, Josiah and what? If playing with him and playing against him, uh, what does he bring in so far? Uh, he's a you know great player all around. Uh, one of the fastest I've ever seen with the ball, and you know just a tremendous passer. Um, you know what, what, what you're going to see out of Josiah is you know just you know great feel for the game, and he just does a, a great job of really getting guys involved and getting everybody open shots, and making everybody look good. And you know he's like a, a real pass first point guard, and you know he really likes you know getting guys other guys shots and, and other guys you know buckets and stuff like that. So, I mean, he's, he's a great player from day one, and, you know, as soon as he keeps on learning every day what he is willing to do, you know, I think he's going to be a great player. Yeah, they, uh, Coach Miller said he was fun to play with for that reason. I mean, do you guys... Yeah, definitely. To... I mean, you know, uh, he, you just, he's this guy you love to play with just because, you know, he, he, you know, wants to give you the ball in the best position that you can have to score, and, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be a great leader. It seems like of all the freshmen, and they're all highly regarded, but it seems like Josiah maybe has a little more pressure or spotlight on him, would you say, or just being a, being a point guard and with the credentials he had. What's what's he been like? Has he seemed pretty even keeled dealing with that, or do you have uh, any sense for that yet? Yeah, I mean, he's, he definitely came in, you know, the highest rate out of uh, all the great freshmen, but uh, he's kind of, you know, not even worried about that. He's just trying to worry about working hard every day and, you know, trying not to – let those things like that, you know, get to them. How's the two guard competition been, Kyle? Has it been what you expected more than what you expected? Uh, it's been it's been great. I mean, you know, I, I kind of knew expecting you know having a great player like Nick Johnson come in that it's going to be you know tough every day in practice. And uh, you know, I'm I'm really glad that he you know chose came here because you know every day of practice is battling with him. It's making me better and it's making him better. So I mean, you know, I couldn't tell you right now who's going to start. You know, it's just between me, him, and Lab. I mean, they're been going at it every day, and it's you know it's been good for us. Are you going against Nick a lot in drills or in, in half-court, full-court situations? Yeah, in every situation. You know, we're always going at it. You know, don't think we've been on the same team yeah. for really five-on-five five once. But uh, we're, we'll definitely, you know, be on the same team coming up soon, I'm sure, because I'm going to be playing a little bit of the three this year just so we can get, like, a three-card lineup. Right. But uh, for the most part, we've been just, you know, playing against each other every day. How will that be different for you playing a three spot? Uh, won't be too much different just because, you know, I've, I've guarded guys like Clay Thompson in the past, you know, bigger guys, bigger guards who can really score the ball. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of used to that in, in that sense. So, uh, being the three and the two and the three really aren't too much different offensively either. So, uh, it, it won't be a tough transition for me. Nick seems pretty mature off the court. Does that transition to on the court with his game or is he still going through the same freshman learning curve? 
Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to come and learn a system like this, but uh, if I were going to pick one freshman to who really is picking up the most, it's definitely Nick Johnson. You know, uh, he's a you know, quick learner, and, you know, like the rest of them, you know, he really is, is willing to learn, wants to learn and get better. So, I mean, I think so far, you know, he's really picking up the most, but, uh, you know, all of them are doing a good job.